steady our feet, our Father. Let our doubts be quiet and our holy minds be still. And speak to us. We have no words to give to you. We would but listen to your word and make it ours. Lead our practicing as does a father lead a little child along a way he does not understand. Yet does he follow, sure that he is safe because his father leads the way for him. Steady our feet, our father. Let our doubts be quiet and our holy minds be still and speak to us. Thank you. I thought it was a great prayer to start today with and to uh, start up practicing with just because it's like you want to make sure that you're being guided and that you don't follow your own instruction or your own ways of doing things Try thinking that you know how it should be done or something like this so like no this is being directed for you it's being guided in every step if you listen, it's like the only requirement is to be still, let your mind, your holy mind be still, quiet, <clears throat> coming into a listening mode, receptive, open, and then you have no idea what's waiting for you. So this is, this is how I want to start today. So obviously, for those who are actually doing the work, like the mind training uh, of A Course in Miracles, you see that this is the start of the review, of uh, the review of 170, lesson 170, continued, so to speak. And we will be interactive today, if, if possible, if, if there uh, at least some of us can read together. Um, but before that, I want to share with you, or read to you, the introduction. And from there on, we're going to, um, we're actually going to, uh, say, read the lessons, because they're great. Great rhythm, great uh, content, beautiful lessons that we have been doing the last 20 days or 10 days, I don't know exactly, I think 20 days. Okay, so here we go. This is review number five, lesson 170. It's a continuation of lesson 170, but that's today's chunk to, to go through, so to speak. We now review again. This time we are ready to give more effort and more time to what we undertake. We recognize we are preparing for another phase of understanding. 
we would take this step completely that we may go on and again more certain, more sincere and with faith upheld more surely. Our footsteps have not been unwavering, so there's still a bit of like going to the left, going to the right, and doubts have made us walk uncertainly and slowly on the road this course sets forth. But now we hasten on, for we approach a greater certainty, a firmer purpose and a surer goal. And here's the prayer that we just started with. Steady our feet, our Father, let our doubts be quiet and our holy minds be still and speak to us. We have no words to give to you. We would but listen to your word and make it ours. Lead our practicing as does a father lead a little child along a way he does not understand. Yet does he follow, sure that he is safe because his father leads the way for him. So do we bring our practicing to you. And if we stumble, you will raise us up. If we forget the way, we count upon your sure remembering. We wander off, but you will not forget to call us back. Quicken our footsteps now, that we may, be, may walk more certainly and more quickly unto you. And we accept the word you offer us to unify our practicing as we re review the thoughts that you have given us. This is the thought which should precede the thoughts that we review. Each one but clarifies some aspect of this thought or helps it be more meaningful, more personal and true and more descriptive of the holy self we share and now prepare to know again. God is but love and therefore so am I. You see the biblical reference from 1 John 4. And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God in him. So God is but love, and therefore so am I. This self alone knows love. This self alone is perfectly consistent in its thoughts, knows its creator, understands itself, is perfect in his knowledge and its love and never changes from its constant state of union with its father and itself. And it is this that waits to meet us at the journey's ending. Every step we take brings us a little nearer. And listen to this. This review will shorten time immeasurably, immeasurably, if we keep in mind that this remains our goal to shorten time. And as we practice it, is, oh sorry, and we, as we practice it, is this to which we are approaching. The journey's ending. Let us raise our hearts from dust to life as we remember this is promised us and that this course was sent to open the path of light to us and teach us step by step how to return to the eternal self we thought we lost. Here's Jesus directly speaking to us. I take the journey with you, 
for I share your doubts and fears a little while. That you may come to me who recognize the road by which all fears and doubts are overcome. We walk together. I must understand uncertainty and pain, although I know they have no meaning. Yet a Savior must remain with those he teaches, seeing what they see, but still retaining in his mind the way which led him out, and now will lead you out with him. God's Son is crucified until you walk along the road with me. In other words, my resurrection comes again each time I lead a brother safely to the place at which the journey ends and is forgot. I am renewed each time a brother learns that there is a way from misery and pain. I am reborn each time a brother's mind turns to the light in him and looks for me. I have forgotten no one. Help me now to lead you back to where the journey was begun, to make another choice with me. Release me as you practice once again the thoughts I brought to you from him who sees your bitter need and knows the answer God has given him. Together we review these thoughts. Together we devote our time and effort to them. And together we teach, we will teach them to our brothers. God would not have heaven incomplete. It waits for you as I do. I am incomplete without your part in me. And as I am made whole, we go together to our ancient home, prepared for us before time was, and kept unchanged by time, immaculate and safe, as it will be at last, when time is done. Let this review be then for your gift to me, for this alone I need, that you will hear the words I speak and give them to the world. You are my voice, my eyes, my feet, my hands, through which I save the world. The self from which I call to you is but your own. To him we walk together. Take your brother's hand, for this is not a way we walk alone. In him I walk with you and you with me. Our Father wills his Son be one with him. What lives but must not then be one with you? Let this review become a time in which we share a new experience for you, yet one as old as time and older still. Hallowed your name, your glory undefiled forever. Your holiness now complete as God established it. You are his son, completing his extension in your own. In your own extension. We practice but an ancient truth we knew before illusions seemed to claim the world. And we remind the world that it is free of all illusion every time we say God is but love and therefore so am I. With this we start each day of our review that this we start and end each period of practice time. And with this thought we sleep to waken once again with these same words upon our lips to greet another day. No thought that we review, but we surround with it 
and use the thoughts to hold it up before our minds and keep it clear in our remembrance throughout the day. And thus, when we have finished this review, we will have recognized the words we speak are true. Yet are the words but aids and to be used except at the beginning and the end of practice periods, but to recall the mind as needed to its purpose. We place faith in the experience that comes from practice, not the means we use. We wait for the experience and recognize that it is only here conviction lies. We use words and try and try again to go beyond them to their meaning, which is far beyond their sound. The sound grows dim and disappears as we approach the source of meaning. It is here we find rest. Thank you for being here and thank you for um, your willingness to, to participate in this. This is really wonderful. So now we're going to actually read this together. So I'm going to put this in a different view. Um, actually, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to pull up the, that's a better idea. I'm going to pull up the PDF again. And one by one, whoever wants to participate in this hearing class can read with us. Just take your time. Take time to read this, to be still with it. And then when you feel it, that it's your turn, you go in and pick up another lesson. So we repeat this until we have done all of them. Just for the, the beautiful, say, meditation, contemplation that actually this is. So I'll start with the first one and just to get the idea. But you know this. It's not difficult or anything. It's just like read it, but go beyond it in your experience of yourself. Go beyond the words. It's not about the sounds. So you don't have to mention the lesson numbers or anything. God is but love, and therefore so am I. All things are echoes of the voice of God. God is but love, and therefore so am I. The power of decision is my own. God is but love, and therefore so am I. God is but love, and therefore so am I. In my defensiveness, my safety lies. God is but love, and therefore so am I. I am among the ministers of God. God is but love, therefore so am I. Dieu n'est qu'amour, donc je le suis aussi. Je céderai le pas et le laisserai me guider dans la voie. Dieu n'est qu'amour, donc je le suis aussi. Je marche avec Dieu en parfaite santé, sainteté. Dieu n'est qu'amour, donc je le suis aussi.
Dieu n'est qu'un mot, donc je le suis aussi. En sa présence, je voudrais entrer maintenant. Dieu n'est qu'un mot, donc je le suis aussi. Aujourd'hui, j'apprends à donner comme je reçois. Dieu n'est qu'un mot, donc je le suis aussi. Dieu n'est qu'amour, donc je le suis aussi. Je donne les miracles que j'ai reçus. Dieu n'est qu'amour, donc je le suis aussi. Je suis chez moi. La peur et l'étranger ici. Dieu n'est qu'amour. Donc, je le suis aussi. God is but love, and therefore so am I. Give me your blessing, holy son of God. God is but love, and therefore so am I. I am as God created me. God is but love, and therefore so am I. God is but love, and therefore so am I. There is no death. The Son of God is free. God is but love, therefore so am I. Now we are one with him who is our source. God is but love, therefore so am I. God is but love, and therefore so am I. Let not my mind deny the thought of God. God is but love, and therefore so am I. I am entrusted with the gifts of God. God is but love, and therefore so am I. God, God is but love, and therefore so am I. There is one life, and that I share with God. God is but love, and therefore so am I. Your grace is given me, I claim it now. God is but love, and therefore so am I. Dieu n'est qu'amour, donc je le suis aussi. Par la grâce, je vis. Par la grâce, je suis délivré. Dieu n'est qu'amour, donc je le suis aussi. Il n'y a aucune cruauté en Dieu, ni aucune en moi. Dieu n'est qu'amour, donc je le suis aussi. Thank you. Thank you for your part in this. That's so great. I love it. Thank you for that. See, it's great to repeat this in the morning. It's like, God is but love, and therefore so am I. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's like a continual remembrance that you start with 
So it can it can repeat itself during the day. That's so lovely. It's so great to use the lessons. It's, it's like it is available. You can pick it up any time. I love that. I love that. So great. So there's there's one lesson that came to me strongly as we read it, and I actually want to go there a little bit. And that's the lesson I am as God created me. So this one lesson. Um, we got it here all about God and how to find him in this little booklet. <clears throat> it is like that's the one lesson uh, where that repeats itself like three times in the Course in Miracles. So it comes back three times and um, with the same title, not the same lesson. But it's really interesting to, to uh, take a look at it. So I'm reading just a little bit of that. I am as God created me. Now stand by. Easy does it. Here we go with the one idea which brings complete salvation. The one statement which makes all forms of temptation powerless. The one thought which will silence and entirely undo the fearful thoughts of loneliness, sorrow, death, that makes up this world of separation. You are as God created you. The sounds of this world are still. The sights of this world disappear. And all the thoughts that this world ever held are wiped away f forever by this one idea. Here is salvation accomplished. Here is sanity restored. True light is strength, and strength is sinlessness. If you remain as God created you, you must be strong, and light must be in you. He who ensured your sinlessness must be the guarantee of strength and light as well. You are as God created you. And then it continues, but here's an exercise. Now, try to reach the Son of God in you. This is the self that never sinned, nor made an image to replace reality. This is the self that never left its home in God to walk the world uncertainly. This is the self that knows no fear, nor could conceive of loss or suffering or death. Nothing is required of you to reach this goal except to lay all idols, all self-images aside, to go past the list of attributes, both good and bad, you have ascribed to yourself, and wait in silent expectancy for the truth. God himself, God has himself promised that it will be revealed to all who ask for it. You are asking now. You cannot fail because he cannot fail. So this is our little exercise then. Try to reach the Son of God in you, the self that never sinned, that, is, that knows no fear, that could never conceive of loss or suffering or death. This is the self that we're going to connect with, that we know ourselves to be. So we're taking a we're taking a moment to do that, like just as a practice, and that's great.
away your self images let them go self images ideas that you hold on to just letting them go like it's a real fundamental practice that we're doing So God himself has promised that it will be revealed to all who ask for it. And you're asking for it now. In silent expectancy for the truth. So thank you for your love and your light. Thank you for being present here today. So I'm going to play some music uh, just to allow yourself to be still and be like supported. <laughs> 